Hey guys, um, it's me again, and I'm really excited today because it's nearly Christmas. Um, as of today, it's two weeks till Christmas exactly, so I'm really excited. So today, I'm going to be doing a quick casual Christmas look. Um, this isn't a full out Christmas day look; it's something that you can wear during the holidays. Um, for me, I'm going out shopping today, Christmas shopping. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to be wearing this and yeah I hope you enjoy it now I've already done my foundation for this um, you can see my foundation routine somewhere below I'm not really sure where I'm going to put it but um, go check that out if you want to know how I did it um, and then I just used my new collection 2000 lasting perfection concealer which was ranted about so much on YouTube and I was like oh it's going to be pants I know it will so I went and tried it and it's actually really good guess YouTube works. Um, then I've just primed my skin and I primed my eyelids even with the Le Therapy Paris Cream Control um, Mattifying Cream which works for me. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is just putting an all over colour on my eyes and you've seen this before I think it was in my Twilight tutorial I'm not sure but I'm going to be using this um, Vanilla Reed Champagne colour here. Um, just as a base on my eyes so, an all over eye brush, you've seen these before because I love them just from number 7 um, I'm going to be putting the colour just pressing it into um, my whole lid Um, that's going to be acting as a base for when we put the other colours on. Speaking of other colours, um, I'm then going to be taking my sleek oh so special palette. You've seen this one as well because I love it. I actually do love it. And I'm going to be taking what colour should I use? Yeah, this. I can't remember what it's called, but this colour here, it's sort of. It's not showing up well on camera, but it's sort of a um, shimmery gold colour. But it looks really bronze as well. Um, I'm going to be taking this on a fluffier blending brush. I'm going to be putting it through my crease, um, only about halfway I think, and then I'll decide what to do with it then. I'm going to start with making a little V actually and then see what happens. This is a fluffy brush, it is going to move around a bit. like that. It's alright, we are going to be blending it properly in a minute. Just like that. Um, this side looks worse than the other side. I'll just start to blend it a bit more just using the same brush you can dip it back into the lighter colour yeah I think that's what's going to work and then I'm going to put that on my brow bone yay just so we've got a bit of gradient going across our eyes and it looks a bit sparkly sort of subtle sparkly um, next I'm just going to be doing my brows because I forgot to do them and they're annoying me um, this is an Avon dark brown brow definer stick. It just looks like this and then it twists upwards. Something on the end of it. Um, in winter, and I'm not sure why, I like really strong brows, which is probably good because I have quite standy outy brows. So yeah, um, I'm just going to sort of move the colour through them. Then see how it goes. happy 
Look at that. And the same on the other. Um, I think that's it for the eye colour. The next thing I'm going to be using is a liquid eyeliner just to make it look a bit more um, fun. And um, this is going to this is one by MUA, which is the one pound range at Superdrug, and it's just a liquid liner. So I'm just going to be using that to draw a line. Now I want this quite sort of subtle, but then again I want a little flick at the end just to make it look a bit more pretty. That's even a word. So starting at the inner corner, I'm going to bring it all along the same thickness and then accentuate the end. Mm. The only problem with this product is you do have to keep popping it back into the pot, which annoys me. But you know. Right, with the end, if you just close your lid and then draw on a little line, like so, and then I'm just going to fill it in a bit more. Now you can make this line to whatever thickness. Um, you feel comfortable wearing or what you think looks best. Do the same on the other eye. <clears throat> I'm normally quick on the other eye because I know what I'm doing. I just completely covered it, I didn't realise it's getting into it. I think that's done actually that one. Like so, so we've just lined um, our top lash line. Um, I'm not going to be putting anything on the bottom lash line because for this I think it will be a bit too much. Um, I'm just going to go straight in with some mascara. You've seen this one before, it's a Bobbi Brown Extreme Party mascara. It's just a sample size one, but I think it's really cute anyway. Um, this is going to be top and bottom lashes. For this actually, you could always use a brown liner and then a brown mascara if you prefer that. I think that'd look quite cute too. Just thought about that. You're not going to be able to see this very well, but I have done that. And then um, my bottom lashes too. I think this mascara is dried up. I might have to go find a different one. Just like so. Um, now the last thing I'm going to do is going to use a really Christmassy holiday colour on my lips. Um, where is it? I know I'm not. I'm going to sort out my skin. Um, because I have oily skin, I am going to be using a powder. This is the Natural Collection powder. Um, <coughs> just going to be dusting this across the centre of my face. Just to tone down any shine, because I want this quite a matte look, really. It wouldn't have made much difference on camera. Um, and then a bit of bronzer. I'm just going to dust this over my cheeks because I'm not going to be using blush because it will contrast with the lips. So I'm just going to add some warmth to my face anyway. I 
and up into my temples just to make my face look a little bit slimmer not that it'll work but you know um just like that and then as i was saying on the lips it's going to be a festive berry colour now this is the colour I'm going to be using I hope it's picking up because it's such a gorgeous colour there's not much left of it and I only bought it two weeks ago um yeah it's been a bit of a favourite of mine recently but it's this plummy ready purpley colour by Rimmel London it's a colour called Drop of Sherry so extremely Christmassy um I'm just going to be putting this straight from the tube onto my lips and I've already put some lip balm on um because my lips are really dry today and I don't normally get dry lips um, so yeah. If you sort of push it into your lips, um, I find that it stays on your lips longer. So. It's such a Christmassy colour, I love it. So yeah, that's the um, finished Christmassy casual tutorial. And I'm going to go Christmas shopping now, which is really exciting for me. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Have a beautiful Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then have a lovely 25th of December. And always try this out, go for it. Um, yeah, so thank you. Bye.